Winners of two straight, five and one Marlboro hosted first place in the Shoba over at Whitcomb looking to take over first place in the Midwaukee standings. In the 14th minute, the Wolves would tally the first goal as Holly Bakara is at the right place at the right time, beats Healy to her left, putting the Shoba up 1-0. And then just a couple of minutes later, the Panthers respond on the corner kick. Reynolds lifts it right to Megan Deneen, and Deneen punches in the header past the keeper, tying it up at one. And only three minutes after that, Marlboro would have another corner. Again, it's Reynolds. This time, the goalie gets a piece of it, but Van Buskirk is there. The first attempt doesn't go, but the second chance does. Two goals in a span of three minutes gives the home team a 2-1 lead. After that, however, it was all Neshoba. Entry pass finds its way to Cat Davis turns past the D and goes over Healy's head for the equalizer. Later, Marlboro has a chance at a penalty kick to take back the lead, but Deneen's bid is off the mark, leaving this one tied for the moment. Because in the closing stages of the half, the Wolves would net two goals. First, it's this laser from Grayson Edwards to make it 3-2. And then in stoppage time, it's Albertelli who keeps it just inside the far post to push the lead to 4-2, heading into the halftime break. And unfortunately for the Panthers, it wouldn't get much better in the second half. Offensive opportunities dried up, and on the other end, the Wolves would extend their lead as Cat Davis connects on her second of the day. Edwards would later tally her second as well, as Neshoba stays unbeaten, defeating Marlboro 6-2. Panthers drop to 5-2 and, and remain in second place in the Midwalk B standings.